Hi everyone, Amy Love here and I am coming on today to share with you a tutorial for the singed flowers that I made a wreath out of in a recent video and I will link that video up here in the iCards if you didn't get a chance to see it. So I didn't have a tutorial for this particular flower on my channel so I thought I would make one for you. So I am going to, this was actually, I think, I can't tell, I have a lot of just this material, but some of it comes from um, a wedding dress um, in between the lining and the satin. And then uh, some of it is like sheer curtain panels that I've found. This particular one I tea dyed. So I'm just cutting strips of it. And this flower is very forgiving. So you don't have to worry about cutting straight or them being the same width, none of that, because once you singe it and gather it up, it's just not going to matter. <laughs> so these are obviously not straight. Look, it goes phew, right there. It just doesn't even matter, but they're approximately, that one's like one and three quarters. This one, maybe two. Uh, yeah, almost two. Well, this is about one and three quarters also. So around there, anywhere between one and a half and two inches will be fine. It doesn't matter how um, long your strips are because uh, what's great about this flower is you can just keep um, adding on more strips and you won't even be able to tell uh, when the flower is finished. The, the thing that is important is that you're gonna be able to cut through the layer. So I'm actually gonna cut that in half so that it'll be, because my scissors are so dull. Use sharp scissors if you have them. I really need to get a pair. So this isn't really that long, but um, I can't have it much bigger than that or I am not gonna be able to cut through all the layers. And that's how we're gonna make our petals. So we're just gonna keep folding it up to about right there. I feel like that's a good petal, a good petal width, and that is about one and a quarter. You know, give or take, it's really not important. The important part comes when you're cutting the petal. You want to make sure that you start low enough or um, it just doesn't make enough of a definition between the petals. So let me see if I can saw through this with my very dull scissor. So I want to come down, right? So that is a little more than halfway down. I want to start way down there. Now, this just is a rough petal. It Don't worry about jagged edges or any of that because we are going to be singeing it with a candle flame and you will not be able to see any of that jaggedness at all. So just when you come around this side, make sure you go down as far as you did on the other side. So yes, you're gonna make a mess. It's Look at all these pretty fuzzies. So that is definitely not pretty, not straight and not round. And I promise you, it doesn't even matter. So let me go through and make sure that I cut down deep enough and because I had it folded weird, that one didn't get as good of a peak. Like I want them to have um, a nice deep valley in between. I really don't want that. So that is a little unfortunate because I have to go fix those each one by hand. So hopefully I don't have a lot like that. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see, here's another one. You wanna go ahead and cut it because what happens when you singe it if you don't cut that off and have that definition, when you singe this one, it would singe together and look like one giant petal instead of two separate petals. And I certainly don't want that to happen. So let's go ahead and make sure, here's one more. So when I am gonna make these flowers, I like to just go ahead and cut a bunch of these before I start singeing anything. Because once I I'm ready to start singeing. I gotta clear my desk off because I don't wanna start a fire. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these, all of these strips. Um, and then 
I will show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, now that I have all my strips cut, I've cleared off my desk so I don't start a fire. And I am going to use these uh, oversized tea light um, up on a candle holder. You could use a regular sized tea light or a votive candle, you know, anything, anything like that. Just, you know, be careful. Be careful. You are going to use a very light touch because this will singe away to nothing in no time. <laughs> So you need to be careful. So I'm gonna go ahead and light my tea light. Okay. And I'm keeping my strips away and just dealing with one strip at a time so that I don't accidentally set anything on fire or singe anything I'm not ready to singe. And now I'm just gonna lightly pass this over the flame and you should see it start to curl up. See, it doesn't take much. So that petal is done. You don't want it to disappear. <laughs> but sometimes they do, and it's okay. It happens, and you can still use it. The flower is still going to be beautiful. So now we're going to I'm gonna do this next one. All right. See how it just curls right up? Now, it's just beautiful when you have all these petals all curled up like that and um, gathered it just makes such a beautiful, beautiful flower. Now see that one, I didn't make sure it was deep enough. So it kind of, when you singe them both, they kind of run into each other like that, but it's okay. It's still going to be pretty, but that's why you kind of want to make sure that you have a deep valley in between the petals because they just curl right up to nothing. can't get the there we go so see the difference like see how big that petal is and then that one just curled up to nothing so if you left it there too long you it would just disappear you would have nothing nothing left to work with so this is fun to do um, I like to do it when I'm uh, video chatting with my friends I don't like to do it when I'm watching something because you have got to watch this. <laughs> okay, so if I have something really good going on over here on Netflix, I cannot do, I cannot do both. But I can chat with my friends or listen to some good music and that type of thing. Um, I listen to podcasts, I do like to listen to podcasts. Um, this is a good opportunity to do something like that, but you really have to keep an eye on what is going on over here. All right, so there's one strip with all its little petals singed. And that might not look like much right now, but when you gather this up, it makes the most beautiful flower. 
So I'm going to go ahead and um, singe the rest of my strips. I did want to mention when you're doing this, you're not actually touching the fabric to the flame. You don't want to catch it on fire. It will leave um, black marks when you do that. So you're just you're just using the heat of the flame to singe your petals. If you touch it to the flame itself, you will get, because see, it already darkens up a little bit. I don't know if you can see on the edges, the heat does start to darken it up, but if you actually touch it, it will, um, it will get dark, burnt edges. You see that? Which, I mean, that's kind of pretty, but um, it'll actually char up and burn the whole thing and, and ruin it all. So you want to be really careful. You're not trying to touch the flame. You're just trying to use the heat from the flame. Right, now that we have all of our strips uh, strips singed, we are going to gather these strips. So you will need a needle and thread. I'm going to use this um, rather long needle. I mean, it's not a super long doll needle, but it's long enough. It is long enough. And so I am going to put a gathering stitch along the um, straight edge of my petals. And it's just, they're so beautiful once they get gathered up. So let me grab that and, so we're in there. Okay, good. And now I am just going to do a gathering stitch. And I'm coming in about that much because this kind of fabric does spray. So I don't wanna be too close to the edge. So we're just going to gather it up. And what's nice about this long needle is I can gather a bunch of it up on this needle before I even pull the thread through, which just is so handy. So feel free to use a longer needle if you'd like to. Oops. I'm just going to get a bunch of it on there so I can show you how quickly it just gathers up when you do it that way. I didn't bring my um, reading glasses up here, so I'm having a hard time. I have to put my face way back <laughs> to see what I'm doing. Okay, I think I got enough on there to show you. So now I'm going to pull it through, and you can just see how beautifully uh, it looks when it's all gathered. I got my fingers stuck in there. So you see how it's just turning into a flower? It's so cute, right? So I uh -huh. am going to, I'm not gonna sew any of the strips together, but I'm gonna gather them all. Go ahead and gather this one so I can show you what I like to do at the end of it. Because you can make the gather as loose or as tight as you'd like. It's up to you and However you choose to do it will affect how your final flower will look in the end. So let me get to the end so I can show you the choices. 
well, I mean, the choices are loose or tight, <laughs> but I can show you what it looks like. Okay, we're almost there. Almost, one more. Okay, so let me go ahead and pull that through. So now you're going to decide if you are going to pull all your strands, like look how short that is now. That was pretty long and now it's very short. And you're going to want to, if you're going to do one tight, you're going to want to do them all tight. If you're going to do one loose, you want to do them all loose so that when you're making flowers with the strips, they all, you know, kind of match in that way. Because it would be weird to have a loose one in the middle of a flower and a tight one around the edge of the flower. So you get to decide. I'm going to make mine a little bit looser. I would like this strip to be a bit longer. I'm trying to find the end. There we go. So I just kind of loosen it up along the thread. And so that is still a good place to be. It's still fluffy and pretty and a little bit longer. So what I'm actually going to do now is tie a knot in the end of this to keep it where I want it. <clears throat> so there, so now it will stay, it will stay that way. You can still move it around on the thread, but it's not gonna come past that point on the thread. So now I am gonna do that same thing with the rest of the strips. Now that we have them all gathered, let's make a flower. So how big a flower you create is totally up to you. You can make these big or small, whatever you want. So obviously a bigger flower will take more of the strands and uh, a smaller flower will take fewer. So I like to cut a circleish uh, shape. I can never cut just a circle, so. But this will do, it really just doesn't matter and you're gonna need hot glue. And I suggest that you cover your fingers um, with these um, silicone fingertips so that you don't burn yourself because hot glue can really do some damage. So I have my hot glue gun on and we're ready. So with these, sometimes you have to pull the petals all to one side so that you have that raw edge because that raw edge is what we're gluing down and you see how it just kind of gets all messy. So you kind of have to go through and turn everything so that the raw edge is here because the raw edge is what we're gonna glue down. Now I start from the outside and go in. I don't know why, I just do. Some people start from the middle and go out. So you're just gonna have to figure out which way feels right for you. I start at the edge and work my way in. So I'm going to use my hot glue gun and I am going to put um, a strip of glue, maybe, here we go, to get me started. And I am going to put the raw edge right in there and I'm going to make sure that I'm pushing down with the finger that is protected. <laughs> so we're going to do that all the way around the very outer edge if you're starting on the outside like me. So we're just going to add more glue and then make sure that we have the raw edge ready because it just wants to flip all around. So it can get a little fiddly. It's 
see how cute it is already? You can just see it's going to be beautiful. All right, so now we're ready for a little bit more. Oh, goodness. There we go. Okay. And when you come to the end, you're just going to pick up where you left off with the next strip. So this one looks like it's going to go all the way around once around the outer edge, which is cool. Yeah, yeah that's it. Cool. It went all the way around. So there is one layer. And so with my next strip, I'm just going to start right inside. And so we're going to make another circle on the inside. So let me get it ready. So this time I'm going to put the glue inside there. where I want to put the raw edge of this strip. So if you want to make a bigger flower, I would just start with a bigger felt circle than what I did. But you know, it doesn't have to be felt. You could use paper, cardstock. It just needs, you just need a base, a base to glue it down to. Okay, so once you get all the way around, which I'm not there yet, I'm almost there. Once I get all the way around, I will start um, gluing down in the very middle until my strip runs out. It's a little more fiddly for me right now because I'm trying to make sure you can see and I'm trying to see at the same time. <laughs> yep. That adds a little, um, a little difficulty for me right now. Right, so I think that this has enough left where I think I can just fill in the middle and I won't have, even have to use another strip. I think I can get away with just two, two of my strips on this one. You just want to make sure you fill the middle. Now, my middle is still showing. So I can just add a piece of bling and fix that. Or I could have made sure to cover the middle and then you don't need a bling at all because they're so pretty, right? They're so cute. So I'm going to make one now where you can't see the middle and then I'll put a bling in here. Well, let me go ahead. I've got a tray of bling right here. It just so happens. I have a tray of bling right here, but what do I want to use? Oh, purple. Oh, I think I need a bigger bling than that. One of these hearts. I love these hearts. Magic Dream Crafts. They're adorable. What do you think? Oh, I love the heart. I think I'm going to do the heart. Actually, I don't want it to go this way. It's so cute. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. So here I've got it just right into the middle, and I wanted to show you what it looks like. Well, kind of. I don't even know if you'll be able to see from that angle, but I kind of show you what it looks like to fill in the middle instead of leaving a space there. So it's still two strands, just like I used the last time. So it's, it doesn't take too much, but I just want to make sure to cover all of uh, my base, whatever it is, felt or paper, make sure it gets covered with the fabric. Okay, I'll just 
straighten up my petals because they like to flip around. They like to flip around. Let's see, where am I at here? Okay. <laughs> I got a little bit more to go. So now with the last part, I'm just going to put glue in the middle and then I am going to push that just down in there with uh, my finger protection on. And see, it's so cute. It doesn't even need a center. Oh, let me get this off my finger. Isn't it adorable? They're just adorable with bling and without bling. They're super, super cute. So I hope you give them a try. I just think they're so pretty. And I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. And I'd love to know what you think. So please leave me a comment and a thumbs up. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.